Good morning all. It's winter and so that sees the, I suppose, unwanted return of Glen, my trusty fan heater. So I've got Glen running at one kilowatt and I've also got the oil filled radiator which um, is about 400 watts. It switches on and off of course. Now they're not connected to my home electricity because home electricity is very expensive at the moment. No, they're connected to this double orange socket, which comes uh, through a hole in the wall. Yes, as I say, electricity is very expensive at the moment. I'm paying 34p per kilowatt hour and 42p per day, even if I don't use any electricity. Uh, what's gas? It's 10p per kilowatt hour 27p per day and I'm also on the agile outgoing octopus which means I get paid for solar power that I export and it's actually quite sunny at the moment it's a very low sun um, but I'm exporting to the grid 1.46 kilowatts so over the two or three or four hours that the sun is up uh, high that is um, yes, I'll export a reasonable number of kilowatt hours and the rate is actually quite high at the moment. So here's today's graph. Um, it hasn't actually made it to two kilowatts yet, has it? Um, but I hope it will. I'm slightly uh, west of the south axis so I get full sun or the best sun slightly after midday. What's the time now? Oh, quarter to twelve. But here are the export rates and it's this section here you can see that the bulk of the day um, is actually quite good it's hovering around 30p just above and then of course at 6 p.m i'll try and point to that bit 6 p.m is uh this peak here it shoots up to what would that be uh, oh about 45p so electricity rates are quite high that's uh, probably because wholesale gas prices are high. 40% of our electricity in the UK is produced by gas, but also it's probably not that windy. And so the wind turbines aren't generating a huge amount. But back to how these two heaters are being powered. Like I say, the wire runs out through a hole in the wall. And so that wire comes from here runs along past these uh, knackered marine batteries and to this um, outdoor connector box and I got this box from Lidl and these boxes are really good let's have a quick look inside it's uh, very damp on the outside but completely dry inside and you can see that you've got um, the large entry points the small entry points and it's perfect for putting a, a chunky connector in there and keeping that connector dry. Um, yeah, I bought a couple of these because uh, I really liked them. $17.95 at Lidl, and if you're lucky, you might find they've still got some because they sell them for putting your Christmas light um, multi-way um, power strips in there. So the black wire comes out of this waterproof box and runs down here to my car. Runs round to the front and into the charging socket. Now the car's currently set up in discharge mode, so that's V2L, vehicle to load, and so that is what's supplying my fan heater, Glen, and also the oil filled radiator. Yes, it's uh, much warmer in here, it's getting up towards 20 degrees. Now of course this only works if the electricity in my car can be obtained at far less than 34p per kilowatt hour. And at the moment um, there are two ways of getting cheap electricity. One would be using an overnight rate, so something like Octopus Go tariff. Uh, currently 12p per kilowatt hour for four hours uh, in the early hours of the morning and the other one is Wickham Retail Park where the pod points 
are still set to 14p per kilowatt hour. So now down at the retail park, plugged into one of the pod points. Uh, not too busy here today, there's a couple of spare bays here. Uh, further down we've got uh, this chap here and this one appears to be iced uh, yeah excellent parking well done so I'm plugged in here and I finally worked out what the little bung on the end of the uh, charging cable is for it's for holding up this little flip lid so that you can hang your cable on top of the connector otherwise the cable has to sit down there in the mud these pod points at Wickham Retail Park are as far as I know the cheapest commercially available electricity that I can find they are 14p per kilowatt hour now if you know of any uh, commercially available electricity at less than that price anywhere in the UK please let me know because uh, this does seem very cheap indeed and it just makes me wonder how long it's going to remain at that price I can't imagine if uh, KFC and Benson's for beds and Harvey's and Wicks and Home Essentials and Furniture Village and Marks and Spencer's and Curry's down at the bottom there um, would be that keen to be giving electricity away at this incredibly low price so I can't imagine it's going to stay at this price forever. I suspect it might go up soon. And that's one minus for Wickham Retail Park. So the battery is now charging. It's at 70%, 166 miles. Uh, I think it takes about an hour for every 10% um, that the battery charges. Yeah, seven kilowatts. It's about 70 kilowatts, the battery. So in one hour you can do about 10% of the battery. So I'm going to need to leave the car here for an hour. Now, when it was a bit warmer, I used to be able to sit in the car, but it's too cold to do that now. And you can't really leave the heater running in the car because it draws a lot of power. So if you sit here with the heater on, it's drawing 24 amps at 370 volts. Yeah, that's 8.8 .8 kilowatts. So the the car's electric heater um, draws a lot of power and that would be greater than the seven kilowatts I would be getting from the pod point uh, charge post. So I'd be making a net loss. So I need to head off somewhere warm and really the only shop here that is of any interest to me is curries the rest are food or furniture or home essentials stores so let's head down to curries right let's head into curries because at least it's warm in there and i must admit i'm learning quite a lot about cameras and washing machines and tumble dryers and the like at the moment hello Yes, I forgot about the music they play in here. I hope it's copyright free. I don't want to uh, get a copyright strike. Yes, this is the warmest part of Curry's next to the TVs, because these things kick out masses of heat and they're all G rated. Yes, I'm learning all there is to learn about washing machines and so on. I'm actually quite interested in these tumble dryers because these heat pump tumble dryers are essentially a dehumidifier in a box with a drum that turns around and I particularly like the look of this um, Hoover one because uh, it's got this in the door this detachable water tank so the dehumidifier part of this tumble dryer sucks water out of the clothes puts it in this tank which then hangs on the inside of the door in there like so uh, so it's nice and easy to empty I will hang out in uh, curries for an hour or so just looking at uh, fridge freezers and the like I'm gonna try a technique here I'm recording short sentences with gaps in between 
and then I'll edit it such that there are lots of jumps in the music and then hopefully Google won't be able to piece together which track is playing. Half an hour in curries is enough for anyone but it's still only at 75% and I want it to go up to uh, 80%. So this shows really the downside of uh, charging here at Wickham Retail Park. Uh, you've got to wait, uh, there's the possibility of all these bays being taken and I have seen it with all them taken uh, and the possibility of course that this won't remain at 14p forever so the other possibility would be to go on to a nighttime tariff uh, Octopus Go is currently 12p per kilowatt hour for four hours in the early hours of the morning and that might make more sense than coming down here of course the other thing with coming down here is I lose about 5% in the journey and for that reason I'll probably switch from my agile outgoing tariff to Octopus Go. You can't have both of them simultaneously and get the 12p per kilowatt hour overnight rate. Cheerio!